Welcome to Real Estate IQ Wisdom for Smart Moves. Featuring Sarah Klish, the private wealth advisor of Amory Price Financial. What key strategies can help people manage their finances smartly? So first and foremost, one needs to be conscious about the choices you're making. Um, and understand what your financial goals. Why is that important? Well, I have people who come to me to get advice and they say, I want to grow my portfolio. Okay, well, that's a common goal, right? That's not unusual. But what is the purpose of that particular pile of money, right? right? To grow it just to grow it for growth's sake is okay, but it, it doesn't give enough context, mm -hmm. right? So what I share with people is that to be effective in your financial life, it is helpful to have a goal or more than one goal. Because with that goal, then you can determine milestones, benchmarks, am I on track or not on track, right. and be able to make accommodations and changes as needed. So first is being conscious about it, having goals. Once that's in place, then it's being mindful, right? If you are in a circumstance where you don't have to worry from paycheck to paycheck about how you're paying your bills, which hopefully we all get to at some point in our lives, right? We oftentimes become immune, for lack of a better term, to where the money's going. And so we spend because we can. And then we recognize sometimes that we don't have the resources that we wanted to for a particular goal. Well, we probably have those resources. It's just a matter of being aware of where is the money going now? And is that the choice you want to make? One thing I tell people all the time, financial choices are not good, bad, right, or wrong. They just are. However, could you potentially have made a more informed choice that would have moved you closer to your intermediate or long-term goal? Right. And so if you understand how you're spending your money and then you decide that you want to make a different choice about that in order to change that process to move that money to something else, then you're going to be more successful, right? Um, the other thing that I would share with people is don't be too concerned about what other people are doing. That's so true. Because the bottom line is there's a lot of external um, signals that we attach to financial success. Wearing nice clothes, driving nice cars, living in big houses, right? But I can tell you as a financial advisor, some of those mirrors are interesting when you pull back behind and you look at how are people actually functioning financially, right? So my, my caution to people is don't necessarily compare yourself with somebody else. Think about what's important to you and how you want to operate and let them make their own choices, right? It's not bad to talk to people about what they're doing. That's fine. But it's, um, it's, I think, a self-preservation to be sure that you're taking care of your own stuff and don't worry about too much about how you think somebody else is doing. And if you do that, and you're mindful about how you're utilizing your funds, and you set a goal, you will get there. You will. Check the full episode on our YouTube channel and on Apple Podcasts.